What is happening YouTube? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Today we've got something really cool in store. If you've been t paying attention to my Instagram account, I've kind of leaked this one past and on the last live stream too. But I have got some really cool hardware here. This is a new exhaust tip for the Duramax. So make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna get it put on. So when I had my lift kit installed, we decided to put on a four inch MBRP exhaust system and that really livened up the truck. The horsepower gains was actually slightly noticeable for it. It evened things out with the lift kit. So it made it nice in that aspect and the sound is awesome. I'm glad I went with a four inch. We went with the four inch one with no muffler. So it sounds great. But now the tip is just, nah, I don't have a tip. We can see right here, no tip, just exhaust. So it's kind of old gasser style, but we needed to do something a little bit more jazzed up. We gotta make this thing more my ride. So I contacted Dallas over at DCS Custom Fabs. He is the owner operator of that company. He does custom metal work, custom woodwork, and he specializes in truck parts mostly. Exhaust, he does stacks, he does all kinds of crazy stuff with metal. If you guys haven't checked him out, go and check out his website. He also has an Instagram account. Uh, it is a dcscustomfab.com. So make sure you check out his stuff. But this is the glorious piece of machinery that he was able to make for me. It has the name right here on the side with a uh, stainless steel insert there in the back. DCS Fab here on the top and the badass Rust Belt Mechanic logo there on the other side, all done in the anthracite gray color that is also in the center of the wheels that are on the truck as well. So this thing is gonna look killer. Now the one other thing that people may be making fun of me about was in a prior video, I had somebody else do the welding for me on the lift kit because I don't know how to weld. But you know what? I took that as a challenge. So this week, I put myself through some ringers, I got somebody to bring me a welder and I got to practice him. So I'm gonna actually put this one on all by myself. So, yay, it's gonna be cool. So I've got the exhaust masked off right now. I need to cut off about, I don't know, about seven and eight inches of it so we can get the exhaust tip fabbed up where I want it to be. And then we're gonna get this thing welded on. Freaking excited, let's get it on. that bad so let's weld the exhaust tip on all right with my uh, lovely assistant Brandon getting my correct level we're going to uh, go ahead and tack it into place all right. Got it? Yep. Flip the switch. 
switch on? Malfunction number one. <laughs> Turn the welder on. Ready? Yep. Have a look at that. Not the best in the world, but you know what? That will do for my book. And I'm kind of proud of that. So we'll get her all uncovered here and see how she looks in full view. Well, I'm gonna have to say, for like my first week of welding, it turned out pretty freaking badass. I don't know what you guys think, but I really like the exhaust tip. Hopefully the pictures that I took of it turned out really well, and I am absolutely impressed. If you guys were impressed with it, make sure you go check out Dallas's work over at DCSFab, dcsfab.com. Uh, he's got some really awesome t-shirts and outerwear also. Some really cool, you know, US-based, um, America style t-shirts, hoodies, etc. So make sure you go and check out his cool stuff. Also go check out my Instagram account if you guys want to keep up to date on cool stuff like this. I usually post pictures and stuff ahead of time of the YouTube channel. So I don't know if you guys like keeping ahead of schedule then go check that out. That's about all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys keep in touch. Keep up with the channel. We're going to keep coming out with really cool badass stuff for you guys. Thanks, and you guys stay awesome.